Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Boss Tech Auto. I'm bringing you a video today about Ford uh, IDMs and related parts found on Ford Power Strokes uh, equipped with the 7.3 liter engine. These replacement parts are offered by Boss Tech Auto and are found on F and E series vehicles uh, from 1995 to 2003. There are three options offered by Boss Tech Auto to remedy a faulty IDM situation in your vehicle as well as related parts uh, such as the under the valve cover harnesses, uh, under valve cover gaskets, uh, connectors, sensors, etc. Let's take a look. The Ford 7.3 liter N diesel engine offered in the Power Strokes, uh, I've often heard from owners and techs alike, are considered as the best diesel engine ever offered in the Power Stroke series. Of course, this depends on your opinion but they are very reliable workhorses and remain in service and popular to this day. They were offered from 1995 to 97 with the UE system with some considerable changes from 1999 to 03. Note the diagnosing, removal, and replacement of the IDM is outside the scope of this video due to the fact that there's already a multitude of videos and literature on these subjects. I've included several links to some videos and info I thought might be helpful in the video description below. Please remember if you find them helpful to like, comment, and subscribe to these video makers to reward them for their time and hard work. The IDM stands for Injector Drive Module, and it controls the injectors by receiving input from the PCM. It is located inside the driver's side fender well. It is controlled by the PCM Powertrain Control Module by receiving pulse inputs to know the proper timing and duration needed by the engine. The IDM then takes system voltage and steps it up to 110, 120, or 140 volts, depending on the, uh, the IDM unit you have installed. Note, in the very early offerings of the 7.3, the IDM was initially offered as a 100 volt unit, but was quickly realized it was not adequate enough and was superseded by the 110 volt. If you have the 100 volt uh, unit, you can use the 110, 120, or the 140 volt to replace it. The PCM determines the proper output signals to send to the IDM by receiving input from eight various sensors in the vehicle. They constantly monitor performance and operating conditions of the engine. The job of each sensor is to accurately monitor specific engine conditions and generate a signal voltage to send through the wiring harness to the PCM. The sensors provide the information necessary for the PCM to make the proper decisions to control the engine performance and thereby sending the IDM proper timing and duration pulses to meet the current necessary needs of the engine. The sensors that the PCM uses to determine these pulses uh, are as follows. APS, Accelerator Position Sensor. CMP, the Camshaft Position Sensor. The ICP, Injection Control Pressure Sensor. The MAP, Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor. EOT, engine oil temperature sensor, IAT, intake air temperature sensor, BARO, barometric sensor, pressure sensor, the EBP, exhaust back pressure sensor. The IDM, after receiving the pulse info uh, for timing and duration from the PCM, steps up the system voltage to 110, 120, or 140 volts at 7 amps, depending on the IDM unit installed and then sends it to the proper injector's electronic solenoids in the, head of the, in the head of the injector. The injector solenoids are very fast-acting electromagnets, which when energized pulls the internal poppet valve off its seat, and then when de-energized, the poppet valve is reseated manually via a spring. The injector solenoid is actuated a minimum of 27 times per second at the 110, 120, or 140 volts at 7 amps, to produce plus or minus a minimum of one horsepower. As you can see, it is crucial to have good batteries, wiring, harnesses, sensors, connectors, etc., to supply the PCM and thereby downstream the IDM, the proper info to the injectors. Take the time to confirm your truck is in good uh, re shape in these regards. Bostec offers the 110 volt IDM for 95 to 97 trucks as IDM part number IDM 110, as well as the under valve cover gasket harness kit as GK02809K. You can purchase the gasket separately as GK02809. You can purchase the harness separately as WH02809. 
02867. And there's a repair connector for the main harness that connects to the under the valve cover harness connector, which is WH02869. Bostec also offers the 120 volt IDM for 9903 vehicles as part number IDM120, as well as the under the valve cover harness kit as GK0208K. Uh, the gasket separately is GK0208. The harness separately is WH0286. And the connector, repair connector that co goes from the main harness to the under the valve cover harness connector is WH0286. The third IDM option is a heavy duty 140 volt high performance option that can produce an additional horsepower gain a plus or minus 30 horsepower and can be used in 95 to 2003 models. Part number is IDM 02140. All our IDMs go through improvements upon the OEM design. For example, our remanufacturing process improves the seal to prevent common failures due to moisture penetration. All our units are pre-programmed and ready to install. And we are a trusted source for remanufactured IDM units and most related components. Well, as you can see, Bostec Auto offers some great options to deal with your faulty IDM problems. All these parts carry Bostec Auto's 13-month unlimited miles and limited hours warranty. For some, some suggested tips are, please remember to always confirm that your system voltage is correct. You know, check your batteries, fuses, wiring, etc. Make sure that they are intact and proper. You know, no voltage drops or shorts. If you have any shorts to ground in your wiring, you could damage your replacement IDM on installation. On a side note, if you find that your injectors have suffered due to your IDM problem, please check out the link to our fuel injector video in the description below as well. As always, if you have any questions or you need help locating an authorized Bostec auto distributor near you for current pricing, please contact us at 1-800-868-0057 or check out BostecAuto.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.